hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, uh, peripheral cyanosis or uh, simply known as the blue hands and feet you know uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition uh, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, now we come to the topic what is peripheral cyanosis you know now the term cyanosis uh, refers to uh, the bluish cost uh, to the skin and the mucous membranes and the peripheral cyanosis is uh, it happens when uh, there is a bluish discoloration uh, to your hands or to your feet so it's usually caused by uh, low oxygen levels in the red blood cells and the uh, problems getting like uh, oxygenated blood to your body you know so the blood which is rich in oxygen is bright red in color and uh, typically associated with uh, blood you know and uh, when the blood has the lower levels of oxygen and becomes darker red you know uh, the more blue light is reflected you know uh, making the skin appear to have uh, like blue tint so the low levels of oxygen uh, if there is low level of oxygen in the blood then the uh, the color will look skin will like uh, it will be blue tint you know now sometimes the cold temperatures can cause the blood vessels narrowing and it can lead to the temporary blue uh, like uh, uh, tinged skin you know and warming or massaging the blue areas uh, should return normal blood flow and uh, color to the skin now if warming your hands or feet uh, it does not restore the normal uh, blood flow and color it may be sign of underlying condition uh, now whatever the underlying cause is the blue coloring means that it's interfering with your body's uh, ability to deliver the oxygenated blood to your tissues you know and it's important to restore the oxygen to the body tissues as soon as possible in order to prevent any complications you know. now the next thing is uh, like uh, you know in many cases uh, the blue lips or the skin can be a sign of life-threatening uh, condition you know life-threatening emergency you know and if the blue discoloration is uh, accompanied by any of the uh, other conditions like uh, symptoms like uh, fever or uh, uh, like uh, air hunger or gasping for uh, breathing you know headache a shortness of breath a chest pain a sweating and uh, dizziness or fainting or pillar or blanching of the arms legs hands fingers and uh, toes you know so this is an emergency and you should call the emergency services or ambulance straight away for the uh, intervention you know and now the next thing is what are the causes of the blue hands or the blue feet or uh, peripheral cyanosis you know well you know being cold is the most frequent cause of uh, blue hands or blue feet you know and uh, it's also possible uh, to have the blue hands or blue feet uh, even though they are warm you know so the blue hands or the blue foot if it can be a sign of uh, an issue with your body's system of delivering oxygenated blood uh, to the tissues of your hands and your feed you know so your blood is responsible for carrying oxygen through your body traveling from the lungs to your heart from where it's pumped to all parts of the body you know or cells of the body you know now once it has uh, uh, delivered the blood to your body's tissues the oxygen uh, like uh, uh, depleted blood returns to your heart and lungs through the veins you know now anything that prevents the blood from returning to your heart uh, through your veins 
or that stops it from reaching your tissues uh, in the first place means that your tissues are not getting oxygenated blood they need you and the causes may include like uh, too tight clothing or jewelry uh, maybe a deep vein thrombosis a venous insufficiency a Reynolds phenomenon a heart failure a severe hypertension or severely extremely low blood pressure you know or uh, severe uh, like uh, uh, hypovolemia which means that uh, um, less blood circulates through your body than normal you know so these are the possible uh, causes you know uh, the next thing is how do doctors diagnose that uh, you have the peripheral cyanosis you know or uh, uh, bluish color of uh, feet or hands you know well blue screen is usually a sign of something serious and if normal color does not return when your skin is warmed you know uh, you should call your doctor uh, to determine the cause you know and your doctor will need to perform a physical examination uh, they will listen to your heart to your lungs uh, and you will likely have to provide a blood sample and undergo further further tests you know and your doctor may use uh, like a non invasive pulse oximeter you know uh, to measure the oxygen uh, like uh, oxygenation of your uh, blood which means the level of oxygen in your blood you know and they may also order like a uh, arterial uh, blood gas test you know and uh, this is the test to measure like uh, uh, the acidity and the levels of the carbon dioxide and oxygen in your blood you know and uh, uh, your doctor may order the chest x-rays or the ct scan to evaluate the heart and the lungs as well you know uh, once diagnosed then uh, it's important to see them you know well as it's it, it 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 may be the sign of any serious medical condition so it's important to uh, see the emergency room or your doctor as soon as possible you know and uh, get the medical attention uh, on urgent basis you know and uh, you know, the treatment involves like identifying and uh, correcting the underlying cause in order to restore the oxygen to blood supply uh, to the body parts you know and uh, receiving the proper treatment uh, in a timely manner will improve the outcome and the limit uh, uh, any complications you know and there are some uh, medications uh, uh, that can help the blood vessels to relax you know and they may include like uh, uh, antidepressants uh, antihypertension drugs you know uh, erectile dysfunction drugs and uh, you know so use of these uh, uh, drugs to treat the peripheral sinuses is considered off label drug use you know uh, which means that they are not uh, advised to do that but uh, uh, by doing so they they are helpful you know and uh, you may also need to avoid certain medications that uh, constrict the blood vessels as a side effect like beta blockers or migraine headaches or uh, birth control pills so they will worsen the situation you know and in case of a serious medical uh, situation such as heart failure it may be treated in hospital as an emergency case you know and other conditions such as the uh, Reynolds phenomena or maybe it may require long-term lifestyle changes you know and you may need to avoid uh, caffeine or nicotine or smoking or alcoholism both which can cause uh, your blood vessels to constrict you know Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel. Thank you. Goodbye.